Mangus Coloradus was a famous Apache tribal chief and warlord in the early days of the Wild West. Coloradus was an Apache tribal chief and a member of the Membrano Division of the Central Apaches. His homeland reached west from the Rio Grande, including most of southwest New Mexico, and he's regarded as one of the most important Native American leaders of the 19th century because of his fighting achievements against the Mexicans and Americans. In his book, Apaches, James Haley says, the single greatest leader of the Apaches was a physical giant as well as a domineering personality, Mangus Coloradus. He is a truly striking figure with a hulking body and disproportionately large head, possessing cunning as impenetrable as the thick mat of hair that hung down to his waist. During the early 1800s, the Apache's main enemy were the Mexicans who had won their independence from Spain in 1821. By 1835, Mexico had placed a bounty on Apache scalps. When Juan José Campa, the leader of the Copper Mine Membreño Apaches, was killed for bounty money in 1837, Mangus became a war leader and a chief, joining forces with his ally, Cachillo Negro. Mangus became the principal leader of the Copper Mine Membreños and led them for about 25 years while Cachillo Negro led the Warm Springs Membreños. There had been many years of conflict between Spanish or Mexican forces and the Apache people, generally named the Mexican Apache Wars. Um, the fighting began in the 1600s with the arrival of Spanish colonists in present-day New Mexico. Um, and the fighting was especially intense from around the 1830s to the 1850s, at which point uh, the Apache people began feeling pressure from the whites, also attempting to settle the area, uh, exploiting resources, setting up trade routes and settlements. Around 1846, the United States went to war with Mexico, and the Apache Nation promised U.S. soldiers safe passage through Apache lands. Once the U.S. occupied New Mexico in 1846, Colorado signed a peace treaty respecting them as conquerors of the hated Mexican enemy. An uneasy peace between the Apache and the United States lasted until an influx of gold miners into New Mexico's Pinos Altos Mountains led to open conflict. Over the next decade, tensions began to rise between local miners and the Apache tribes. In December of 1860, 30 miners launched a surprise attack on a camp of Badoncas on the Membres River. In the summer of 1862, after recovering from a bullet wound to the chest, Mangus Coloradus met with an intermediary to call for peace. In January 1863, he met with U.S. military leaders at Fort McLean in southwest New Mexico. He was promised provisions in return for peace, but the Americans were up to no good. Mangus arrived under a flag of truce to meet with Brigadier General Joseph West. However, armed soldiers took Mangus into custody and West gave an execution order to the sentries.
Brigadier General Joseph West addressed the men guarding Colorados on a cold winter night in southwest New Mexico. He said, men, that old murderer has got away from every soldier command and has left a trail of blood for 500 miles. I want him dead or alive tomorrow morning. Do you understand? I want him dead. That night, tied to the ground, Mangus was tortured, shot, and killed under the pretext of a supposed escape attempt. The following day, some soldiers who were fascinated by the size of the Apache, who was six feet six inches tall, cut off his head, boiled it, and sent the skull to Orson Squire Fowler, a phrenologist in New York City. Analysis of the skull and two sketches of it appear in Fowler's book. A state historical marker marks the approximate location of his death. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I hope you found this valuable. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss new videos. And if you'd like to further support the channel, hit that thumbs up icon and feel free to share this to your Facebook or Reddit page. Have a great day.